Tyler, hi, how you doing? All right, seems like we just finished, right? No rest for the wicked. All right, definitely looking forward to another class with you, sir. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at your work. I think you've got your three examples here set as JPEGs. Um, I want to just kind of draw your attention over here to the assignment page. Um, so here, rough sketches part two, right here, this paragraph right here, rough sketches with the quarter size, um, place each rough sketch on a separate page, number them and include a title and a brief description. Save as a multi-page PDF. So there should be only one submission here as a multi-page PDF. I'd like to see this compiled as a multi-page PDF for your final submission on Sunday because that points to um, expeditious and correct use of, of tools. Okay, so you definitely want to follow that, that instruction there. And then there's a couple of other things. You want to define and state your target audience and um, you want to describe the intent. Okay, so, so you've got some written uh, requirements here as well. So, so you definitely want to make sure that all of those are included in your final submission for Sunday. Let's go ahead and take a look at the work itself. Okay, Spider-Man. These are really good ideas. I think each one is, is really, really interesting. I think this is really intense. I love the perspective here and the, the fact that he's so small in such a big city. I think that's interesting. Um, in your sketches, you always want to label your sketches, okay? So if you're not going to get really detailed with the depiction of your typeface, go ahead and just label it. Put an arrow right there that says sans serif typeface or serif typeface. And then maybe even include, so this one, you know, sans serif typeface, possibly Gil Sands or whatever, just you know, possibly Helvetica or whatever, uh, so that we know what your intent is in terms of typography. Also, don't forget to define your target audience. Um, Always, always want to define your target audience to a very, very high degree. It's very important in graphic design. It's critical. Uh, graphic design projects can be very much, the success of graphic design project can be based on their ability to communicate with the target audience. Therefore, the target audience has to be defined and it has to be determined. Okay, so for example, this is a Spider-Man poster. Um, and this is even a better example. So this is Kobe, right? So this is definitely uh, sports fans and you want to isolate an eight. So for example, Spider-Man, you, you know, you want to de de determine and do a little research who, who follows Spider-Man? What is the demographic? What's the age? And include that and that's the target you're going to be communicating to. All right, as far as your sketches go, I think each one has, has a really nice idea. Nice and very minimal, very simple. I think they're fantastic. Um, as far as which way to go in the, uh, in the future, as far as which way to pursue for the project itself, I would say just go ahead and make your own decision here. Um, each one has, has its own potential, um, and each one provides a different level of engagement. So you really want to think about what, which one you feel has the most potential and, and um, which one, of course, you feel most passionate about um, pursuing. Okay. So at this point, go ahead and make those changes for your final submission. Go, don't be sure to go through these pages, these project pages. I mean, don't stop with the first two. I mean, read the whole page because quite often there's going to be a requirement down here towards the bottom that's easy to miss. So make sure you go through all of the requirements. So in this particular case, I would like to see you uh, develop your written um, requirements for this uh, target audience. Etc., and then compile this into a, a uh, multi page PDF. Okay? All right. If you have any questions at all, Tyler, please let me know. I'll be glad to make any necessary clarifications. All right, great. Uh, welcome to the class. Looking forward to working with you again, sir. Thank you very much.